Hi, this is Sheena from Be Seen, and today I'm on an entrepreneurial journey to find out what it's like to be an entrepreneur in a startup company. <laughs> today we have Kieran and Sabrina, and they are the founders of Made Comfy. And um, I'm just going to ask, guys, what is Made Comfy, and how did you come up with the idea, and um, where are you guys at now? Yeah, so Made Comfy um, is a short-term rental management service and our objective is to remove the hassle of renting out your home mm -hmm. so it's becoming really popular mm -hmm. to share your home whilst you travel and there is, is there is a lot of work involved on doing that so what we wanted is effectively to make it really easy for people to be able to uh, take advantage of this new uh -huh. but without having to do anything yeah. if you like. So it's a bit like Airbnb. How do you differentiate yourself from Airbnb? Well, whilst Airbnb is pretty much a platform uh, where you can um, put your product, your home on, mm -hmm. it's a bit like eBay. There's so much more than listing just your product, which is everything around. So while it's an Airbnb, you have to like, um, like identify your pricing, you have to uh, communicate with your guests, you have to find your guests, you have to welcome them, you have to set up your property, you have to clean your property, uh, you have to be there if something happens to your guests, so if something happens to your place, like the TV stops working, or the fuse spot goes out, or like almost all the time some of your white goods stop working. Oh. <laughs> and um, at the end guests become like frustrated with that and they can just leave or cancel your booking, and which means you end up making no revenue. So what we do, we, we do all of that. Um, we take away all that work, um, that sort of uh, you still have um, if you did it um, only with Airbnb um, and take it away of you so you can relax and focus on your holiday or your day-to-day -day job. Yeah, great. And um, how did the idea come up? Whose idea was it? So I was looking for a business idea. Uh -huh. So I um, work in finance mm -hmm. for FMCG for nearly 12 years. Mm -hmm. And in my last role, I really, really wanted to do something different, something where, you know, I could do something, not just finance, but marketing, creating mm -hmm. things. Um, I was looking for a business idea when Quirin started, started renting his apartment with Harbor Views on Airbnb. Mm -hmm. um, so he started having lots of issues with, um, so his first booking, arrived when he was overseas uh, so he didn't think it was gonna work um, the first booking arrived when he was overseas and he wanted to take it so he asked me for help to be able just to turn around the apartment and welcome the guests yeah um, after that as it worked um, Quarin started traveling every week to Perth and he was coming every Friday to clean wash linen to clean the apartment and also to deal with a few issues that the guests had yeah so um, after being managing uh Quarin's apartment yeah. for for a while um i realized that was the business idea mm -hmm. i was looking for mm -hmm. So now you take all of that hassle. I mean, that's the last thing you want to do from a week from a going away from a business trip is come home to do the linen from the guests that just stayed at your house. So you kind of take away all of that hassle from the homeowner. Yeah, yeah. So um, back then it was so so rewarding to sort of have another like one or two thousand um, dollars in, in in a week that you could sort of make, um, but you really didn't want to have that kind of stress. So. Yeah, um, because we couldn't find anyone sort of doing that in Australia to sort of um, the first thing to sort of solve my problem. Um, we did some research uh, in the US and in the UK and we realized there are quite established businesses doing exactly that. Mm -hmm. The frustrating bit was it didn't uh, exist here in Sydney and this is when um, we sort of decided to make, to fill that gap and yeah. start uh, Made Comfy. Yeah. So I want to know, what were the very beginning? Like, first of all, how did you guys think of the name? Um, so we, we wanted something related to home, mm -hmm. uh, to the feelings of the guests staying mm -hmm. in a place that was comfy, mm -hmm. like a feeling home, like at home. Mm -hmm. um, so I initially thought, oh, something like homely, comfy. And then I remember we, we were, um, we, we went running and I was like, Quarren should be something comfy. And then Quarren said, made, 
and then we say, hey, <laughs> made, made comfy. comfy. Yeah. And then we, we came yeah. with the name, yeah. made comfy. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing how much, <laughs> uh, how many ideas come when you're yeah. running. I, I've had a lot of ideas come from doing yoga and they just <laughs> kind of come in. And so you have never been on the entrepreneurial journey. Where did you begin? How did you, how did you start? Yeah, you know, it's, it's a, you've come a long way, but where was that first step? So I think um, we have been playing around with the thought for a while. We did a lot of research. We went to meetups, we read books, and sort of to get a picture of what it is like. And one thing we, we learned quite early is um, stop thinking and start doing. And the first thing we, we did was uh, Sabrina took a, a, a week uh, of holiday to build our website to sort of be there. And it worked. We got the first inquiries from that website within a week. Mm -hmm. We had our first couple of customers. And from there, it was mainly simply learning from customers. Mm -hmm. So we had, were very lucky, lucky that we got reviews from guests very early. Um, we were working close with our like hosts. So we got a lot of feedback very early to tailor our business model as well. We didn't wake up and say, oh, yeah. we have to provide linen. We have to <laughs> yeah, manage yeah. the price. We have to sort of make sure that um, uh, homeowners uh, don't have to provide anything. We thought very differently at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And all that feedback, working with customers, getting feedback um, helped us to, to sort of uh, grow step by step. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and it, it's something completely different what you think and then when you s actually start, yeah. then you realize how you, know, you have to improve and change mm -hmm. to effectively um, um, like cover the needs of the customer. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah so. Another thing you realize really quickly is in a, in a company, when you work, there's everything there, right? You need to send an email, you have a computer, you have <laughs> uh, the cloud, you have your signature, you have everything there. Yeah. If you need something in finance, you just contact finance. Um, if you need a flyer, you just contact marketing. Yeah. Um, nothing happens when you don't do it yourself yeah. when you're a startup. And that's one of the big things you realize so early is it's so difficult mm. because you have to create everything from zero. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's very tough to yeah. start. Yeah. yeah. And you work seven days a week? <laughs> and we work, yeah, day and night. Day seven and night. Day, like, I think this is one of the hardest things I have ever done. Mm -hmm. So it's extremely, like, if I compare with the job I used to have, mm -hmm. um, so, it's, it's really demanding, so it's day and night, mm -hmm. like Monday to Monday. Yeah. Um, it's just part of your life, mm -hmm. and you have every every day to day. Uh, but it's extremely rewarding and mm -hmm. exciting as mm -hmm. well. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so we, we just did your pitch video, and you're now at that next level of asking for more money. Um, do you get mentored on how to do this? I mean, do you have external sources on guiding you on this journey that you've never been on before? I think it is very important when you, maybe always in life, that you are open for feedback and open for advice. And we've never raised money before. I've um, uh, not done that. So we very early, um, we joined uh, quite a few meetups. Uh, we got involved with... Um, um, companies like Capital Pitch mm -hmm. to get trained on building our pitch deck, mm -hmm. trained on um, how to pitch and what not, what to say and what not to say, how to say it. We were also very lucky to have a um, to have a, a close network of um, people who who give us close advice. Um, we have people like Cliff Rosenberg, who is part of Make Comfy and gives us incredible advice on on how to how to improve and how to get the right message across that mm -hmm. you want to get across. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes to cut the bullshit yeah. and get down to the to the, the nitty gritty. Uh, exactly. yeah, I think another thing and one of my biggest learn learnings is that um, it's great to work with people that complement your skills. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm saying this because I think querying and my skills are complementary. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about raising money, like yeah. querying is really good um, at raising money, mm -hmm. managing the investors, and he's being kind of in charge of, of dealing with the investors and mm -hmm. kind of leading the, the race <laughs> as well. So. It's definitely great looking for people that have complementary skills mm -hmm. and not your same skills mm -hmm. to build a business. Mm -hmm. yeah.
Yeah. On the other hand, like um, without the freedom, a company wouldn't have a look and feel, uh -huh. and the, the the brand and the personality uh, it has today. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's uh, I agree. It's so important. You you don't find people that are like you or that maybe will never be a threat to you mm -hmm. because they're just maybe not as, as good as you mm -hmm. are. It's important you have mm -hmm. people uh, with you that are better than you mm -hmm. and different to you. Yeah. So in a whole, you are a very, very strong team. Yeah. And going back on Sabrina's point, I feel comfortable when I come into your office. I mean, the, the audience won't be able to see this, but we're, we're sitting right in front of a beautiful waterfront building with cushions and um, beautiful colors, so you, you, you not only, you know, eat, breathe and live it, but you, you can see it in everything that you do. And I think that's really important too, that your brand is an extension of everything here in the office. Yeah. Um, can we talk just two points about your target market? You target investor owners that have uh, property in the revenue of, or the, the <laughs> So our, our target market is pretty much um, um, property owners. So if you live in a property and you're going away, you leave your property empty and it's sort of like not used. And that's sort of a bit of a low hanging fruit um, where you can make money with. So we um, approach people that have property and go away. On the other hand, investment property owners is um, um, what we offer is more flexibility to, to use your property by yourself. But also if you are interested to increase your yield um, with short-term renting if it's at the right location and done well mm -hmm. it uh, it can increase your yield quite a bit yeah. um, compared to long term yep and then the holiday maker obviously what why would the holiday maker come to home comfy uh, made comfy sorry why would the holiday maker go to made comfy as opposed to a hotel or airbnb or any of the other options that they have so we, we provide a consistent a consistent experience so that's that's what we work for mm -hmm. um when you book on airbnb so most of the properties are managed by individuals mm. so um maybe you have a great experience this this trip but maybe uh -huh. the next trip you know the linen won't be great mm -hmm. or the place won't be a clean up to your your standard yeah so with make comfy you have a consistent yeah. experience yeah. and we have a dedicated team mm -hmm. to make sure that if something goes wrong you are going to have immediate assistance yeah. as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. yeah so that's why yeah it's so the homeowner is now building the relationship with you as opposed to the individual homeowner in location A and individual location B so there that's a long-term relationship that you can build with both people yeah. actually yeah. What we find out is like when you when you share your room like or like one of your rooms um the guest is with you he feels you he's like experiencing you and everything that's that airbnb experience that a lot of people talk about live like a local exactly <laughs> now you want to live like a local <laughs> when 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 you are away on holiday in the bahamas or somewhere um and your guest stays in your property like like there is no joint breakfast there is no joint dinner you don't go on tours you want to have a holiday you don't want to like 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 share make sure and, the yeah. other person has a great time you're happy to share your place but it's sort of missing and we uh, realized that also very early with our first first um, hosts that the guests like they want to have this experience that's why they're going away from hotels and you need to be there from the beginning from the booking um, when they're there to make them feel comfy and home in the places that we provide mm -hmm. yeah and then finally, I know you're targeting um, locations here in Sydney, but what are the grand master plans? Are we going overseas? Are we going to go to Europe? What, 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 are, what are we thinking? <laughs> yeah, so this year we're planning to expand to Melbourne. Mm -hmm. So Melbourne at the end of 2017. Mm -hmm. And in 2019, we are planning to expand, you know, Australia, mm -hmm. like whole Australia. Yeah. Yeah. So, so those are the plans so far. Yeah. Um, Investment home owners in Sydney and in Melbourne. Get in touch with Sabrina and Kieran. They've got a great product, and I'm really looking forward to seeing this journey. It's been um, it's been fun filming you, and thanks yeah, for the thank time. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys.